This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. So we're going over another game jam reveal. This time around, it's more of a tool than an actual game update. But this tool is going to be used in future game updates. And it's pretty neat to say the least. Now basically what this tool is, is showed off by Mod Osborne. And it's essentially what it does is you type in a keyword or words or key phrase or something of the sort. And it will spawn in an object or pieces of the environment now at face value it sounds kind of bland and you're like what's the point in that i don't really see how it could be implemented in the game but he did say that they are working on things like a murder mystery quest where this mechanic can tie in and be really neat for example let's say you're doing a murder mystery quest and you want to interrogate somebody to get a little bit more information or clues to help you solve the mystery so you go ahead and you interview a particular npc maybe it'll place you into their memories and create kind of like a mini game out of it where you're going sifting through their memory trying to uncover certain things that they may have hidden in their subconscious so maybe you do certain trigger words that jot their memory and now new objects or clues will spawn into a place because you've jotted their memory and you now have new clues to help you solve your mystery. So I know this is not one of the most exciting reveals from Game Jam but it still has a pretty good and interesting implications. Like I said, murder mystery quests are going to be more interactive and I think it's going to make them more fun. We've already had murder mystery quests in the past. For example, murder mystery, the actual quest that's titled that, and one piercing note. So this is just to add a little more dimension to that type of questing. And I kind of like it. It's pretty interesting. I want to see how it's going to play out. I'm not too mad at that. I kind of like it actually. So they also addressed with this like spelling errors because if you're just typing a word, you need to type it a specific way to even trigger it. Could be annoying. Maybe things like armor is spelled different in American English as it is in British English. So maybe they'll allow both those kinds of things. So they did say that they might have some kind of filter that even if you misspell a word, as long as you're in the right ballpark of it, you will still trigger the spawn of the item or environment. So there's not really not much to worry in that regard. Other implications that they said that this could have is players are going to be searching for different things when solving things like their mystery quests. So playing the quest by yourself, you're going to get a different different experience than somebody else if you didn't search things in the same order and you may come to conclusions in your quests or etc that may turn out different i mean the end goal will still be the same but your journey to that end goal may be very different based on the items you searched and caused to appear while utilizing this tool this also means though that some people may search the one thing in the clue that'll just get you straight to the end immediately and those kind of things may be in the guides and probably will be in the guides and just people can streamline to the end of the quest now that is a consequence that they're just gonna have to accept and they address it but just know that that is a possibility too if you so happen to search the one clue in the search bar that ends the memory and lets you progress through the quest then so be it on top of all that, this allows them so that when you type in things, not only can they trigger things like spawning in environments and objects, they can trigger events. They can trigger new things that an NPC might be able to say. They can trigger a whole slew of different things, not just spawning in items. So this has actually way more implications than initially thought. Either way, it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Wouldn't mind seeing this be played out in the game. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyways, that wraps it up for the video. If you'd like to hit that like button, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe subscribe button i promise to keep you up to date on all things runescape you're already in the right place so hit the subscribe button covering a little bit more for game jam in the coming week so stay tuned for those anyways i am out doggies peace